So, welcome to another little behind the lines beaters film. And we're at a brand new shoot that's just set up this year. Um, it was an existing shoot for a number of years, but then for the last six, there's been no shooting on here. So this is our first drive. Uh, basically what we're gonna do, we've got our beaters lined out across here, socially distanced as you can see. Last time, um, I know there were three guns in the upper. We're just gonna push across this plow um, I'm going to take up this hedge line. There's a lot of partridges in here. We've got some HLS just in front of us and then a big block of maize. So the idea is we're just going to push across here, push the HLS across into the maize. Um, it's fairly flat here, which you can probably see. So what uh, the idea is that we try and flick these partridges up over the top of the hedges. So kind of old school, really, like they used to do partridge shooting. And uh, so far it's worked really well. The scenes. Right. Um, you may have noticed actually, I don't have a dog today, unfortunately. Ted um, has pulled a claw on a day that we did on Saturday. So he's actually having a day off today. So I feel a bit uh, a bit like I've lost my right my right arm at the moment, but um, just the way it is. Right out, nice and slowly. Just the other side of that hedge oh, there. The other side of that hedge there is um, what we call HLS, which is um, part of the estate's conservation. Uh, wild bird mix, oats, and um, they absolutely love it in there. So basically, what we've done is keep us come up that hedge line there, and you can just probably, you may well see that the partridge is just pushing them back in across that top hedge. Okay, Ian, if you can move them round to the uh, HLS, please. Copy that, mate. Paul, can you come up a little bit to about here? Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm on, I'm on. I'll tell you what, anybody wants to come out and do a bit of fat burning, come beating. Steady in the beating line, yeah, I've got a nice lot of those pushing there. Pushing forward into the maze there. A real nice lot, in fact. Really must take up another hobby. We see some pheasants moving there. A lot of pheasants coming your way, Mike. Finish the, finish the, uh, the HLS, the wild bird mix. If we can yeah, just line up on the uh, line up on the cover, and it's just down to you guys. We're, we're all good to go this end. If you can push through that hedge on the uh, on the in the gateway. Yeah, got that. We're about halfway up the HLS at the moment. Dog's just nice and tight. Nice and tight with, with the dogs. These birds are going to be so flinchy. Break through that hedge, Nick, if you can, or when you can. Now they're going. Y'all have to come round through the gap, we're nearly there now. I'll tell you what, all that chasing a purse has done me a bit of good because uh, that's got the old cardio going. Probably hear the gun starting now. Yeah, I'm about a quarter of the way up, the guys are nearly there now. Okay, so now the beaters are going to start pushing through. We've got one wide here, obviously I'm out here. Keeper's gone up the front there just to block this drive off. Uh, wind's perfect, you can probably see from the flag there. So that wind's going to lift those birds, push them straight down the drive. The guns are the other side of the hedge there. So probably not much is going to happen until we get about halfway and then birds should start to lift. Oh, this is sounding good. I'm going wide, I'm just going to try and get out a bit wider. Stop those partridges coming out. You can see them all running up the edge there. Got a lot of partridge running up the edge of that uh, cover strip, Mike. I think, you can, um, I think they're following down the side of it, are they not? Yeah, they're running down the outside of it. Oh, that's a good partridge. That is going like the clappers. Good shot. The guns are down in a bit of a dip outside of that hedge, so. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, I get such a buzz out of 
being in a beating line when it goes well. There are some cracky birds coming out of there. Brilliant. Look at them go. Yeah, it's amazing. There's only a couple of feathers lifted so far. Oh, absolutely fantastic. See a gun there in the distance. Those partridges are coming up, swinging around over there. They're breaking this side for the guns as well. This is old school partridge shooting, absolutely brilliant. I was just going to say this is a brand new beating team, a brand new picking up team. You know, we've only done four days here, but this is just superb. Thank you. Superb. It's a shame I'm actually got the camera into the into the sun, but hopefully that's a good one there. Let's go in. Another good, good two up there. Stand still! Stand still! Stand still in the line, stand still please. Interesting how the partridges broke first and now we're getting into the pheasants. Probably just about the last quarter of the cover there. Right out! I'll get the old craft. So get the old crafty one there coming through. Go oh, around you go. There you go. Stand still! All the way through, please. Okay, so we're on our second drive now, and um, we've got a big block of maize. Kind of comes around the corner. The wood you can see. Uh, it's in, to you, but they're all going to want to try and get that way. That wind is uh, The wood you can water see water in the uh, the distance there is what we call home wood. So there's a pen in there. So basically, we're going to be pushing this yeah, down. Guns are going to be lined out just in front of the wood. There's a, a kind of an open paddock there. Um, but come off of this cover, up and climb up into the wood. Um, it's actually quite a good drive. Uh, got my beaters lined up uh, along the back of the maze. And uh, we've got another chap down on the right hand side here. Because what the birds tend to do, they tend to run out of this maze into this hedge. So his job is to go well forward. You see some birds down on these feeders now. Um, he goes well forward just to tap the hedge, just to keep those birds trickling back in, into the maze. Okay, ladies and gents, off we go. Lots of noise, please. Okay, and you can see how high this maze is. Um, it's called flight line, this maze. Um, and you can see the reason I use maze is because of these cobs, which obviously when they fall off, Makes great feed for the pheasants. There we go. Big flush going forward. So these birds are quite jumpy today. You probably saw then, they, they actually took off right from the beginning. I was just saying, this is called Flight Line, it's supplied by a company called Bright Seeds. Um, and it's just grown really, really well this year. Um, but what will happen is, is that will um, create a really nice cover come the winter. Say the cobs when they go when they go over create a little bit of extra food for the birds. And of course, not only the pheasants and the partridges. Um, bring, oh. someone out wide, mate. bring someone out wide if you can. Um, I'm just too far forward, but there are birds breaking breaking back. So what we've actually had to do there is um, push a beater out wide on the other side of this as um, a ploughed field. We've had to push them out a little bit wide because some of the birds are breaking off left-handed. Um, can't actually see many, there we go, there's another one going. There they go. Now that 
that'll be the, the chap out on the hedge line here just forcing them back in um, they're climbing well oh a nice blackbird there melanistic and um, you see here we've got rides cut in as well so this just forces the birds to run through but also it just gives um, the beaters a chance to just reline out to make sure we've got a nice nice straight line big flush going at the front there there you go you can see those birds or oh, well, hopefully you can see those birds trying to lift out of the maze there to try and get up over the top of those trees basically you'll see if we get down here we've got a thing called a suling line and that's some um basically they're plastic strips tied on a line um we'll have a beater standing there pulling it it just stops the birds from running through them um, to the very end so they're going to flush a bit early hold the line please just see the corner of the suling line down there okay guys when you're lined up again please yeah lovely job thank you Don't like the idea of this thing is just to tickle these birds out. We don't want them going out. Stand still, please. We know there's a big, big flush going there now. Real jumpy, these birds. There's some good birds there today. Well up there, look at that one. Nice and slowly, please. What'll happen is we end up getting a quite a big congregation of birds as we get towards the end of this cover. So it's quite important then that we just control the line, just make sure it's nice and steady. And partridge going back there. These rides are real good for making sure we keep a nice straight line. It's important to keep a straight line because what happens is otherwise the birds can run back if there's a your line's a bit wibbly wobbly. They run back and then you lose them at the back. Okay, you'll hear that noise in the beaters line. That's just to just to kind of push those birds. That's a good one. That's going well. You just see that curled off there to the right hand side because of the wind. Stand still! Stand still! What we do is every time we get a big flush, we stop the line. And that allows those birds to go. No point putting loads and loads of birds over the guns at the same time because um, basically they can't load quick enough. Right, oh, thank you! Stand still and tap. So again, just by tapping there, we're just forcing those birds. Righto. Mike, we're about uh, 30 yards off of the last ride. There's some good birds coming off this again. Pretty well perfect for shooting today. It's a bit of a wind. Whoa, that one's going the wrong way. I'm going to push on a little bit further. Just see the birds running across there now. Hold well on. Just hold on that line a minute. Here's a chap down here with the suling line. You can see the, the bits of plastic on it there. Um, so that's just, just trying to stop the birds from running through that. Obviously if they flush from here, they're going to get a better height. There you go, start to see stuff now. That's a good bird. They won't go the way they don't want to go. Stand still, please! Okay, big flush going. Yeah, we're standing still, Mike. Just keep tapping. There's another nice one, just lost it behind the trees. That's still going. About 15 yards off the ceiling line, Mike. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Stand still, please! You see the ceiling line now. Um, just, like, just helps prevent the birds running into this front block of maze. And then keep going. Right oh please. All the way through to the ride. Do you want us to uh, push this last lot out, Mike? Yep, yep, yep. 
Right, we're on our last drive of the day. Basically, I'm coming down this hedge line. We've got a cover crop just the other side there. And um, the other guys are going to go and push that down. My aim is to get round the corner there where that dog leg is and there's a gap. So I go through and then I'm almost in the field where there'll be a couple of guns. Just to stop the birds from running back out and then back off left-handed. Okay, right. Mike, I'm just at the gap. Yeah, okay, mate, the beach is out in front of you, but um, the wind's bellowing down this cover, mate, so you have got time. Okay, Ian, good to go, mate. So there's our maze just in that side. It's a good bird. Then breaking out in the front there. Another partridge, got a couple of guns out in the field here. And low, ooh, coming over that hedge nice. That turned into a good bird. More partridges going. So I'm just here to stop them running back along this hedge here. That's a good one there. Good bird. That's one for the pickers up. Got a long way back. Okay, just probably, I don't know if you can see. Got it, got it, got it. See through there. It's a ride and there's birds walking across. That's exactly what we want. We just want to walk them across. There you go, plenty there. Got a lot of birds in front of you there, Ian. A lot of birds in that beating line. Yeah, there's a lot running across the ride there. I make sure you're all in line, because I'm not too sure if a beat is well far in front. Just get lined out on that ride again. Another good pheasant there. That's climbing well. That's a lot of shots that that bird does carry on. Another good one. Honestly, unbelievable. They are flying so well, Mike. There ain't many coming down. Got a Suling line just up here as well, so I'll be getting them to flush early. Oh, the line! That one on the wind there. Stand attack! That's a good bird there. That's a nice hen bird there. We'll watch that one away. And uh, still going. It's only going absolutely incredible. The birds are unbelievable. That's a good bird there. Go on, go on. That's coming nicely. That one, that's down. Good shot. So we've got another ceiling line there to flush the birds. Have a good flush coming. Yeah, hold it there. Big flush. Good couple over there. Still early in the season, this, so these birds are still, you know, they've still got to learn to fly a bit. But they're going well today on that wind. Good birds coming out there, that's a good one there. Another good flush. Good one there. And another good one there. So some of these are dropping down and following that hedge line down, which is, you know, they're there, they're kind of their highways, so can't blame them for it. That's going well on the wind. Ooh, I want to go it. Okay, baby.